whole diatribe of the world is mine and everything else. This is a movie you're talking about here. They made albums about it. They referred to it in lyrics and everything else. So everything gets cross-referenced. It becomes muddy. Mm-hmm. It's not black and white. It becomes gray. So on one hand, for example, if you grew up in the era where you had music, where it spoke to you, like, for example, Mike was talking about uh, love songs when I had him on the show on CBI last year, just yesterday. Certain music lyrics hit you. And go back to what Lee was saying, depending on your mind, how it's processed. So if you come up in the era with lyrics of certain artists that touch your heart, that touch your soul, that's going to make you feel good. Now, if you're a person that comes up in a negative situation where all you have around you is negative, your foundation is negative, here comes a song that's negative, it all fits in that type of plan. The thing about all of this is the fact that it would be nice, no matter what the professor was saying, that we all get along with all types of music genres because one begat the other. But no one wants to talk about that point. Everybody wants to talk about what they're doing now currently, but you would not be here it had not been for somebody before you. That's right. Oh, I'm gone. I can go. Good night. <laughs> so that's- I can go. Good night. That good night. Case has been closed. Can we move to the next <laughs> thing? Good, right? good night. Good night. <sighs> point where Prince went back and worked with him. Yes. Because there was a connectability there. Prince did the same thing with other artists that came before him because if Jimi Hendrix were alive, he would be working with Jimi Hendrix. Mm-hmm. So again, we have to learn to connect the dots when it comes to us, of uh, people who came before us and people who are here present, and then we go forward in the future from there. See, and that's, and that's the thing, that's the destructive thing that we put out on ourselves. See, because we get so caught up in the vice of the now that we're going to destroy ourselves in the now and never plant any seed for the future because the now is what's important. But listen, a tree grows from the roots up out the ground. That's what makes it strong. The roots, a house, the foundation of the house. The basement of it is the strongest part of the house, not what's on the top floor or not the newest branch that comes on it. It's how deep the roots go. Good night. <laughs> All right. Let me say this. <laughs> Let me say this. <laughs> Let me say this.